This is the first proper video in a new series called Let's Talk. And this one is the direct question. Why do you play squash? Now, if you don't know anything about this particular series, you can find a link to the introduction at the top here. Link is in the text description. So that is the basic question. Why do you play squash? Well, for me, let me just jump back a little bit. Let me talk about how I started to play squash and I want you to do the same. I started by playing tennis and one particular summer when I was about 15, there was a lot of rain and we couldn't play. So we went indoors and we started playing with tennis rackets and tennis balls on the two little squash courts that the, the tennis club that I had. And somebody came in and showered us, which is quite right, of course, um, and gave us two rackets and, and a squash ball. And, and we, we played for a little bit and it was it was like fun. Um, and it sort of stuck in my mind. And then a few years later, I had a chance to play more. And I did. And, and I realised, wow, this, this game is so much more interesting than tennis was. And I'd always wanted to be a, a tennis pro. I was in, you know, I was fascinated by on Borg and I wanted to play like him. Uh, so when I first started to play squash, I realised that this game and the tennis players had told me squash is boring. Squash is just hitting the ball to the back of the court. It's very boring. Tennis is much more interesting. That's what they were telling me. And then when I actually started to play, I realised that it's not the opposite because tennis is interesting. But squash has got so much more to it than just hitting down the ball, down the wall. And at that action of hitting down the wall has got so much more to it than simply just hitting the ball at one speed uh, in one direction. So I quickly realised that squash was the perfect combination for me. It was the perfect combination of tactics and skill and I thought much more about that than I did when tennis. With tennis it was just hitting the ball as hard as I could. And the combination of fitness because I'd always really enjoyed fitness and I never felt that tennis was pushing me fitness wise. So for me, I, I started playing because the combination of skill and fitness. And I keep playing because there's so much to learn. There's so many different levels of players. You see two players in separate matches, for example, and you see one and, and that player's playing really well and, and winning maybe. And then you see another one not doing so well, but winning. And then you think, oh, that guy, if, they, if those two people play, that guy's gonna win. And then they play and the, the guy, that you thought would lose beats the other guy or woman, it doesn't really matter. And the levels are so interesting and there's so much to learn. And I love the gladiatorial feel about it. It's the closest we get to the gladiators. I suppose boxing is very similar to that, but you're on the court, you're, you're right there. There's the sweat and the blood, there is blood sometimes. And it's that whole environment uh, rather than just the fact of hitting the ball and, I suppose, just being able to hit the ball. I love just hitting the ball. That's why I put so much effort into those solo videos, or I think I put so much effort. Um, the action of just hitting the ball is just so enjoyable. So those are those are my reasons, and I've still got so much to learn about it. Um, so tell me, why do you play squash? And feel free to add a little bit about how you were introduced to it and what other sports you played and moved on for it. This video is part of the Let's Talk series. You can see the introduction linked in the text description. On the screen at the moment is a subscription button. If you think my content is interesting, please consider subscribing. There's also a list of the other Let's Talk videos and another video that YouTube thinks is a really good fit for you based on what you've been watching. And remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.